So, so you want to learn how to make tea like the average English person, do you? Okay. First things first. Kettle. On average, whenever I've been to America, oh, there's me, hello. Whenever I've been to the States, uh, most people don't tend to have these electric kettles. I notice there's an awful lot of um, uh, cap sort of kettles that go on the top of the, uh, the stove. Anyway, first things first, always have fresh cold water inside your kettle. Always, always, always. Has more oxidants in the salt than if you're using regular um, reboiled water. So we set that off and boil. Now, first is to pick your choice of tea bag. Now, tea bags that you can get in the UK, all sorts of brands, everything from PG Tips to Tetley's to Typhoo, Twinings. There's all sorts of brands. I've personally chose Yorkshire Gold. It's a nice strong tea. Um, in the States, it's usually known as an English breakfast tea. Um, and you can usually get a few different varieties, usually by Lipton. So the kettle's boiling away now. So now we've put that tea bag in there. A lot of people will want to um, put their sweeteners and things in first, so we'll do that. Out of my jars here, coffee, no, we have sugar, and my choice at the moment is actually granulated Splendor, which I know a lot of people don't like Splendor, but I find it's actually quite nice, and it's, it's, it's very good in tea. Um, so you have however many spoons you want. So I'll have like one spoon, one spoon? Uh, no, that's kind of sweet, I'll have a second spoon. So you leave that in there, while you wait for your kettle to boil. And while we're doing that, we go into the fridge and we get out some milk. Lots of people use different milks, I use a nice skimmed milk. Um, but you can use whatever type of milk you like, as long as it's not soya milk. You can use soya milk, just, just don't, because it's wrong. So now the kettle's boiled, and I'm stood here in the reflection of my kettle. So now you pour your boiled water over your tea bag. Leave a gap for the milk. And now I already have my, my sweetener in there, so you can just give it a bit of a stir. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Um, now some people will put the milk in now. I don't. I like to leave the milk until afterwards, because if you put the milk in while your tea bag is in there, when you put the tea bag in the recycle, or in the, um, in the rubbish, it starts to smell and it can go mouldy because of the milk. So what I do is I will give it a stir, give it a stir. A lot of people will leave it in the cup as well, but I find if I just give it a stir, you can either use a spoon or you can use one of these little devices to squeeze the tea bag out. But because I'm holding my phone camera with one hand, that's not going to happen. So we'll uh, do that into the little tea bag receptacle. Then we add our milk. I personally like it quite milky because um, when I was younger, my mum used to put quite a bit of milk in my tea to cool it down for me so I didn't burn my mouth when I was a little boy. Ever since, I've liked milky tea. Um, the milk doesn't tend to, a lot of people worry, will the milk make the tea taste cold? And it doesn't, it's because it's, it takes it down from boiling hot to a temperature where you can drink it quite nicely because it's still hot but not scalding. And there you have it, that's your tea. Give it a nice little stir there. And then go and find yourself some nice biscuits to go with it. And that's how you do tea. There you go.